Anybody else seen Christina Aguilera recently? How amazing does she look? So the makeup look in question, I have tried to take like, a couple of screenshots and stuff, but this was the first video that I had seen of the makeup look. I tried to like, get a screenshot of the makeup look, failed miserably, and then thankfully she uploaded it these couple of pictures onto Instagram so let's do this. I think this is the very first celebrity inspired makeup look I've done. This is exciting <laughs> and I done my nails last night as well. I tried to kind of make them match the look and the vibe and everything but these are absolute Italians. Don't like them. Don't like them at all. It's literally just for the makeup look <laughs> but they are pretty cool. Like they're class looking but they're just too long, a wee bit tacky. <laughs> Be Perfect Perfection Primer Champagne Glow. I'm not gonna lie though, this hair is kind of giving me baby spice and I'm here for it. <laughs> so I was makeup shopping at the weekend and look what I picked up. The one and only. L'Oreal True Match, although I think I've picked up the wrong shade. Uh, as far as I'm aware, I've always been golden something. It doesn't actually give you shades anymore, it just gives you numbers and the undertone. So I initially always, as far as I'm aware, always went for 4D, but I picked up 3D, which is a warm undertone, because in the shop, right, I did obviously lift up, um, 4D. I don't know, it just, it looked off as soon as I kind of like lifted it and looked at it a bit. So this is obviously the shade down from that, but now that I have it home in my lighting, like, but I just think that, oh no, hold on. Oh my goodness, no, hold the phone. This is looking really good. Okay. No way. That shade match is actually fab. Look at that. Oh no, that's good. So if you've been watching my channel since the very beginning, um, <laughs> oh my God. I just say I love this foundation. This was like my go-to, like my holy grail. The foundation that I used every single day, even before I started YouTube, oh, I absolutely love it. And it hasn't changed. I feel like they haven't done anything with the formula of this foundation. You know the way you get a foundation that's been out for so many years and they tweak it to try and make it better. It turns out shit. <laughs> um, it, this is just as good as I remember it. Oh. Beautiful, it's still got that really light serum like consistency. Oh, it just makes a really light and fresh and airy on the skin while providing full coverage with that gorgeous buttery satin finish. Goodness, it's been years since I've used this foundation. I definitely do think it's going to become a staple in my makeup collection again. It just looks absolutely stunning. And then a wee bit of concealer. This is new, you haven't tried before from Shein. Well, Shein. And it's the Rapid Retouch Cream Concealer. So I'm guessing is this maybe supposed to be a bit of a lookalike for the NARS Pot Concealer? Whatever it's called. Can't remember. But, you know, the one that's in a wee pot. So I'm going to be taking the Shein Linen. I'm not the biggest fan on pot concealers. They just... You see having to like unscrew it and then get a brush and do whatever. I think that if you're somebody that likes to maybe pre-conceal or spot conceal, pot concealers are great for that because you can just go in and touch up with your brush. But they're just a bit of a nuisance for me to be honest. But I just got it to try. This is the worst brush <laughs> I have decided to apply this with. Oh, damn. Oh, no. Okay, that dries down quick. And that is full coverage. 
Oh no, I don't know if I like that actually. Said me never to a full coverage concealer. That's, that's matte. That is a matte concealer. And that was drying down extremely quick. Maybe a wee bit more. So you may. We're doing a Christina Aguilera inspired makeup look. We have to go full glam. So I blend it out straight away. That's nice, but I can tell that it's not going to be a favourite. It's definitely quite matte <laughs> and it definitely dries down quite quick. I'm not too sure whether that's to do with the formula, with it being like a pot concealer. Um, yeah, well, I suppose it does say Rapid Retouch Cream Concealer. Like, it is quite nice and creamy, which obviously makes it easy to blend out, but that's definitely quite fast and quick drying. And it's definitely got like, kind of like a nice soft matte. It's not matte to the point where it feels dry and dehydrated and nearly cakey under the, under the eyes, under the, the skin. What? Can I reboot? <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just like a nice soft matte. I can see already that the concealer is starting to slightly crease at my under eyes. That usually doesn't happen, but I did notice that the concealer was quite thick in consistency. But do you know something that's fine? I can completely look past a concealer that um, creases. That's if I like the concealer itself, because once I set there, it's fine. Like it won't, it won't crease. This is probably really bad of me, but I'm low-key trying to take my time filming today <laughs> because Kyle should be home maybe 10 minutes, 10-15 minutes and I know for a fact he's going to ask me to go out to the front of the house and help him move stones. So basically like at the front of our house we don't really have like much of a garden but like we have like a really big driveway and like a bit of a front garden situation. That was grass and bushes and whatnot but we actually lifted that up and we've just put stones down there now but we got stones put down I think two weeks ago three weeks ago maybe coming I think next week it'll be three weeks this is how lazy we are and yeah they just got like shoveled onto like the front of the garden but we haven't laid them out yet <laughs> so they're just lying there and I know he's gonna come home from work and ask me to flatten the stones and to lay the stones out where they're supposed to be. Ah. No. So I am going to take my merry little time filming today. Is that really cruel of me? Do you know something? My base is looking flawless today and I don't know whether it's the L'Oreal foundation that concealer but I feel like it's a mixture between all three products. The foundation, that concealer and the cream bronzer because all products, like all three products are in quite full coverage but just creamy and buttery looking on the skin. I'm going to take a mixture between two blushes, both from Morphe. That's Prerogative Petal and this is Notoriously Neutral. I actually love these blushes and I didn't really know what one to take so it's a before worlds. And also tell that she is wearing a blush that's somewhat this colour. And she's wearing quite a lot of highlight as well. This is the Katie Daily powder from Be Perfect. I'm going to set pretty well because from the pictures I can see that she has a quite matte looking skin. And as I said, like just quite a lot of highlight. Well, not a lot of highlight, but there's definitely like a pop of highlight. I'm going to take this Be Revolution and Soph highlight palette again. Okay, time to bring out the big guns. This calls for some Colourpop Flexitarian. I'm going to take a smaller brush as well so I can be a wee bit more precise with the placement with this. Um, yeah, this one will do. So this is a Colourpop F33. Because this is going to be so intense, I'm just going to hit this just right on that cheekbone. I know it will look really intense and quite silly actually, but you see once I have my blush and everything on, 
that'll kind of blend out a wee bit. And this blush would complement the cream blush that I used. It's from Sigma. It's in the shade Corderosa. This blush would be absolutely stunning if it had just a wee bit of shimmer through it or a wee bit of glow or something, but it's just it's completely mad. <laughs> I went through a phase of being introduced to blush and using blush and I only ever used matte blush because I used so much highlighter back then, as you guys know, <laughs> um, that I just, the last thing I needed was a blush with highlighter or shimmer through it. It was just nonsense really. <laughs> there was just too much glitteriness and shininess going on in the face and the cheeks really. So I just had a notion of matte blush whereas now I don't wear highlighter at all. I barely have any shimmery or glowy blushes and that's what I go for these days. Just because I have it sitting here from my last tutorial I think maybe. Smoky palette from Beauty Bag. So I can see that she has a bit of a smoky wing going on and a bit of a defined crease. So I don't know what to start with. <laughs> I don't know. I might start with highlight the shade here. And I haven't used any eyeshadow primer or anything. It's fine. Not taking any more product on my brush. I'm gonna give that all a bit of a blend. Gonna go into a wee bit of Onyx, which is the shade just below this one. And just right in that crease. And then I'm gonna go into Mountain, this shade here, with a fluffy brush, just mm, maybe a smaller one. But I'm just gonna be using this marble shade just to do a wee bit of blending here at the outer corner. How are you? Fine. How's your day going? Grand. How was your day? Yeah, it was alright. What took you so long coming home? I took my time. Oh, you took your time, did you? I did I. Huh? Is that okay? Yeah. I'm just taking my time too. That's alright. So are you going to... What are you doing now? Shovel. Oh, you're not going to do the stones? Fine. If I hurry up, I might be able to give you a hand. Right, we're here starting. Okay. Enjoy. I'm using a flat top eyeliner brush. I like to use the flat side to just stamp on and then it kind of just like creates the shape of the wing. You see before that has a chance to dry completely. I'm gonna go in with a wee bit more of the gel liner. I can also tell she's wearing quite a fluffy lash, so these are just the ones from She Glam. I'll link them down below if I can find them. Well, they're not like She Glam, but they're from Shein. I'm just gonna take, whoa. CTRL from Colourpop. Colourpop 21 questions. My lips are so dry. Uh, 
lastly is the gels. So I have this wee strip and this wee pot. So these are just from the range. They're just like wee arts and craftsy ones. And these are from Shein. They're just like nail art gems. You can tell that she has one on the inner corner. Once I have my wee gems placed down, I always like to use the back of the tweezer, the flat side, just to press onto the gem. That's the gem stand, but I was looking back at the picture there and I don't know maybe it's just the way the eyeshadow looks but I think there's a wee bit of shimmer on the lid so I've just went on just the lid with a tiny wee bit of fairy the shade here just to give it a wee bit of shine not too much just like a wee bit of sparkle and glow just to maybe catch the light or whatever I kind of wish this ponytail would stay up both of them <laughs> So guys, thank you so, so much for watching. All the products that I did use, but let's link down below in the down bar. And I'll see you in my next one.